Hey guys, got some uh, Jeep sheet metal for sale this week. This is my very last new old stock Wrangler Fender. Uh, this is right from a dealership. Uh, original uh, black E code on there, and it's in very good shape. Uh, this is the left side. Uh, what is that? 95. Uh, 87 and 95 this will fit and this is my last one anybody needs a uh, original fender not a reproduction uh, just send me a comment and uh, I've got some other fenders to bring out uh, just hang in there I'll be right back with you okay guys this is a Willys pickup and station wagon fender this is the left side I sandblasted it a while ago and um, it's just starting to give a little bit of rust here It's in very nice shape. There's a little bit of pitting just starting right here. Nothing's all the way through. A little bit of pitting right there. And like I say, a very solid fender. And um, this guy is up for grabs if anybody needs a fender. This one is available. Okay guys, this is the right side fender uh, pickup at Station Wagon. Again, I sandblasted it a while ago. You can see there's some holes in there where they all rust out underneath that uh, double patch panel. Um, other than that, the outside's very nice. Little patchwork to do right there. Uh, very solid fender. Starting to get a little tender right here there's a couple of holes right there but otherwise the rest of it is very nice so if anybody's looking for one fender or a pair of them uh... these are clean sandblasted ready for some epoxy primer and uh, left side you don't have to do anything to right side you gotta do a little patching uh... but they are available and i know these are getting tough to come by so uh... if anybody's interested just um, Shoot me a comment, and uh, they might be kind of big to ship, but um, there's ways of moving them around if we need to. So send me a comment if you need something like this for your project. Hey guys, I've been making these for a while. Uh, I made this set a while ago for a guy. He never wound up picking them up. These are uh, Bantam trailer tail light panels. You can see it got kind of humid, humid out, and they uh, took a little bit of rust. But um, these are exact reproductions of the tail light panel. They're made out of 14 gauge as original. Um, the corner is flanged right around. It's not cut and welded or anything. It's flanged right around there. Uh, I've sold a bunch of these. They fit perfectly. Uh, if anybody is looking for uh, Bantam tail light panels, uh, I do have them in stock now. So. Um, uh, I make the tailgates for the Bantams and uh, the front panels and the tail light panels. Uh, so if anybody's after that stuff, just uh, shoot me a comment. Okay, guys, this is the final thing I want to show you today. Uh, I picked up a Water Valite uh, planishing hammer head here. Uh, does not come with a hoop or anything to be a handheld unit. So you'd probably want to build a stand for this one. Um, uh, if you know anything about them, you know the Water Valite uh, has the most blows per minute and stuff, and it's really a super, super good planishing hammer. Um, I made one on a frame. I used a Milwaukee head and just made one on a frame here. Uh, I think you can see that framework I made for it. Uh, and I use this one all the time. And uh, if you wanted to just mount that Water Valite, on some tubing and make your own uh, floor model uh, it's a very good planishing hammer um, the guy I got this one from used this one and I think it would be hard to do but he used this one he's got a little wooden handle on that and he used to use I get a dolly here he used to use this on fenders with a dolly under the fender and just use this um, going back and forth on the fender uh, seems a little uncontrollable to me, but that's what he used to do. Uh, 
it's got just a little bit of surface rust on it, but that'll clean right up. Uh, it has top dye in it, and um, I'm going to hook some air to it now and just show you. Uh, it does work. It works uh, real nice, and uh, if anybody's thinking of uh, building themselves a planishing hammer, uh, super nice planishing head to start with. Okay guys, I got some air hooked to this. Uh, it's going to get loud. Maybe uh, lower your volume if you got it up. It's a real noisy machine. I'm going to put some air plugs on and just show you that it works uh, okay. Okay guys, you can see it works good. Uh, like I say, if anybody is interested in building their own planishing hammer, uh, super nice piece to start with. Uh, I'm sure it's going to go fast. I don't come across these very often, and when I do, they always sell very fast. So, if you have any interest in this, uh, just shoot me a comment. And there's always stuff coming in and out. Uh, a lot of machinery coming in. Um, so if anybody's looking for anything, just send me a comment, and uh, I'll tell you what's scheduled to come in. Um, and that's all I got for you on this video. Uh, so if there's any sheet metal parts you're interested in, uh, this water volute planishing hammer, or anything you're looking for, just uh, send me a comment. And uh, I'll catch you on the next video. And as always, uh, thanks for watching. We'll see you next time.